Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. Now recently this topic was in news as scientists uncovered the physics behind solar plasma jets through computer simulations and certain lab experiments. Let us discuss some of the major findings of this experiment. Now in this experiment the scientist observed how paint was placed over bass audio speakers ejected as a forest of jets when certain sound frequency and amplitude were surpassed. So with this experiment the scientists found out that the paint jets when excited on a speaker is analogous to the solar plasma jets. So what are the solar jets or spicules as we call? Now the solar plasma jets or spicules are powerful plasma streams that the sun's chromosphere constantly eject. Now what is sun's chromosphere? It is the atmospheric layer above the sun's visible surface. Now these jet streams are influenced by the sun's gravity, 20 times that of the earth and constantly rise and fall back. Some jets are so energetic that they propel into the solar corona and beyond. These jets or spicules appear as thin grass-like plasma structures that constantly shoot up from the surface and are then brought down by gravity. The processes by which plasma is supplied to the solar wind and the solar atmosphere is heated to a million degrees Celsius still remains a puzzle. Now let us discuss about plasma that is considered as the fourth state of matter. Plasma consists of electrically charged particles that occur just about everywhere in the sun's chromosphere as we have discussed which is actually the atmospheric layer just above the sun's visible surface. It is a mixture of negatively charged electrons and positively charged ions and also defined as ionized matter. The state consists of super energetic and super excited particles. These particles are in the form of ionized gases. It is formed when high voltage or temperature knocks off the outermost electrons from an atom which in turn knocks off the electrons in neighboring atoms. Now mostly, plasmas are formed at very high temperatures, but scientists can produce plasmas at even low temperatures. The fluorescent tube and neon-sized bulbs consist of plasma. The plasma glows with a special color depending on the nature of gas. Now what are the uses of plasma? It is used for joining the metallic sheets as micro-plasma welding, for coating, as plasma spray, in sterilizers and hand washers as cold plasma. It is also used for lighting as in neon bulbs or fluorescent tubes. It is also used to destroy the toxic hospital and organic waste. Now let us take up one practice question on this topic. Consider the following statements. First, solar plasma jets are constantly ejected from sun's chromosphere. Second, plasma is a mixture of negatively charged electrons and positively charged ions. Which of the given above statements is correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer is C. That is both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. So this was all for today's topic of the day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel. Yeah.